So in a previous video, I showed you guys how to create an auger that's 3D printable. In this video, we're actually gonna go ahead and print that auger on the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, um, just to showcase that it's actually printable with no support material. So let's go ahead and jump over to Bamboo Studio and slice this plate up. We can import it as an STL or step file into our slicer, in this case, Bamboo Studio, and we can show that this can be sliced with zero support materials, and we'll show it uh, the time that it'll take to print this based on different layer heights. So by default, I've chosen a 0.12 millimeter layer height because I'm gonna be comparing this to the Form 4 printer, which by default prints at a 0.1 millimeter layer height. So let's go ahead and slice this, and let's take a look and we can see that this is gonna finish slicing with zero support material, and it's gonna take seven hours and 34 minutes at a 12.12 um, millimeter layer height. So we can see there's zero support material here that it generated, and that was obviously generated that way because I didn't have support selected. But just to prove that this does not need support material, let's go ahead and select support, slice the plate again, and we can see that even when we have support selected, the uh, generation software determined that no support material was needed. So this auger, again, can be completely 3D printed uh, with zero support material. Now, again, we're doing uh, seven hours and 34 minutes here at a 0.12 millimeter layer height. Um, but let's say we use the default or the, the 0.2 uh, standard, right? So we're gonna go a much um, you know, greater layer height here. And we're gonna also toggle off support here and slice. And I just wanna show that, yes, you can get a faster print time uh, if you go with a um, larger layer height, you can see the quality now of this auger is terrible, right? We can see that as it's stepping up, we're getting these giant steps here. And so that's why we wanna make sure we use a low layer height, both for the quality of the auger on an FDM printer, and we wanna be comparable to an SLA printer. So we're gonna go back and do 0.12 millimeter high quality. Slice that plate one more time, and just see how we have a nice smooth layer height as the uh, auger is built up from the bottom. So now let's go ahead and get this printed. And there you have it, a fully 3D printed auger on an FDM printer with zero support material. Now you can obviously change the design, play with different materials, and also you can play around with different pitches for the flight, but uh, yeah, that's how you do it. If you guys like this project, please stay tuned for more content with this auger where I play around with a uh, Form Labs uh, Form 4 printer. I will do an SLA print of the same exact auger, and we can compare and contrast how this was printed on an SLA printer versus an FDM printer like the Bamboo.